Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights walkthrough. This is Red Eye from Yeah Yo Gaming. Alright, we're going to get uh, going here, like I said from the last video. Just give me a second. Alright, there we go. Uh, we're going to go to Fear on the Pier, finish that up. Do some coast for some ghosts. And finish up Lighthouse Fright House. And maybe get into the shipwreck area. Depending on how long this takes. So Alright, settle in and get ready for the next part of the game. I know, a lot of backtracking. But this is how the game was back then, so you just kinda have to roll with it. But hey, at least if you ever, any of you decide to get this game, you'll know where all the stuff is. You can use this guide as a reference guide. Since they probably don't have any guidebooks for this anymore. Okay. Yeah, the umbrella really comes in handy right through here. Because then you can take your time. And uh, you don't have to worry about sinking right into that water. So that's a major luxury with that invention uh, that it uh, provides. Okay, let me just save this real quick. Probably save it again before I leave anyway. I don't know why the camera angle never changed. <laughs> this game's a bit glitchy. See, that's weird. Wow. Oh yeah, uh, just give me a sec. Let me put this... Alright, there we go. That's that one. Again, it's so much easier if you have this invention. Okay, now the area is complete. I forget what's the. Really don't like that. Dang boat. It's going side to side, making me a little nervous. <laughs> That's really good. Alright, we're gonna head back and uh, go for the coast for some ghost hunts. So yeah, actually making these videos has been fun. Crazy Hobo and I aren't really uh, experts at doing all this yet, because we're new YouTubers, but so far this is pretty fun actually doing these. Trying to get a rhythm, you know, how to present yourself and things like that, make the channel fun, hopefully. I'm having fun with it so far. I hope all of you are having fun with this uh, series. Yeah, as you can see, having this really helps. Just gotta get to where the other students are. So. There we 
we go, finally. Got a few here to get. Okay, make sure there's none down there. There we go. Alright. Yeah, yo. Doing good. Yeah, yeah, it was actually just a catchphrase I kind of coined for myself. It's just something to sort of use, uh, you know, for excitement. Some things you kind of rejoice over, like if you did something very really good. You say, yeah, yo! that noise. Should have just hit that button and spared us all a few seconds of that. Okay, let me look in the background there. Yep. I thought I was away from that. Gonna give me the sandwich. Okay. Let's see, I'm just gonna head through it. Actually, I probably wanna use that, I think. Just give me a second. Alright. The reason I want to use it is because then I don't have to go through the one part. Essentially a few levels I've already completed just to go up this one door. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, we want to go there. <laughs> reason I'm going up here is to get to the other area of Lighthouse Fright House where the Romanian Scooby Snacks are. There's, uh, you see a caveman ice uh, block over there on the left side of the screen in the upper left. That's an area you want to go because there's an invention. Not an invention, but an upgrade to an invention, I should say. Some of the noises these monsters make are pretty funny. <laughs> I just found the tar monsters 
noise to be pretty weird. Okay, so yeah, that's the way to get up there. I think the other way is to use the bubblegum invention on him. Anyway, you essentially want to fly now from this point to that other boat over there. You want to touch the boat and get that going. And jump over here. Okay, so yeah, all the snacks collected, but you haven't, at least in this area, got all of the stuff yet. Bunch of crabs. You actually want to use the caveman so you can get up there. Which is just some of you. here. But yeah, I think that's... Yep, that's all the uh, snacks there. So as you can see, we're really tearing it up here now. We've gained all the Scooby snacks. And, uh, monster tokens. Yeah, that's not good to see when you see that water come up over the boat. You get hit with that, you're all the way at the other beginning of the uh, level. This is a shortcut back to going down which way. And it brings you up. Well, it shoots you out, I guess, from the pipe there. So. Oh, ice cream. Gotta get some Dairy Queen. We actually now can finally move on to the shipwrecks. I don't know if... I guess I saved. Sorry. Yeah, there's no shame in this, just better to save than not. Alright, let's move on to the shipwrecks. You gotta get for these levels to verse the third boss of the game. I wonder who it will be. I'm just saying that to make you viewers that have played this game try to guess, maybe. For those of you that know, obviously. You know who it is. And they really spread the Scooby Snacks out a lot from here. Makes it a little more challenging. The only thing I don't like is all those uh, flying fish. But I've avoided all of them so far, so that's a good thing. Okay. Well, this is always 
just following that area. Oh, this is another one of those levels where if you fall in the water, say you're halfway down there, you gotta start over. So I'll try not to do that. Okay, secret here. This is the way to get these Scooby Snacks. You gotta do it right from the start. Otherwise you can't get over here. Okay, those are taken care of. You pretty much have to time your jump. Just make sure you don't fall in or, like I said, your progress is all screwed up. Not with the Scooby Snacks, but just with where you're at. See, the second one I would have moved, I wouldn't have been able to get those Scooby Snacks. That's why you have to do it. At least Scooby's enjoying himself. I'm enjoying it too, but it's just very difficult. A lot of pressure here trying to get over. Oh, this nice. Finally got him all in one go. area, finally. Actually, pretty impressed with how I've been able to get these so far. Okay, you gotta get them from here. Jeez. Okay. All right, did pretty good there. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try to get through this part. Myself in a pickle here. 
backed myself in the corner almost. Okay, got that one at least. Oh, there, we turned something that was looking really bad into something really good. As I've said before, it's all about determination and being patient. Let's let this stupid flying fish go. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get this. Normally you have to... Uh... Jeez. Okay, managed to glitch up there. You have to wait until you get the bubblegum invention for that one. But, uh... As you can see, I got it there, so. Alright, I'm gonna, just so you know, finish this level. Then I'll start over in another video to finish, I believe, the last few parts of the uh, shipwreck area. I'll get through this part. And move on to the next part of the game. Doing good so far. That was a big risk I took right there. Gotta let these go one way, run on them, so you can get back up. Okay, I got through that. I thought I could go through there. Okay. Okay, there's the boat over there. Just gotta jump to it. Okay, good. And we're through. Okay, let me just go to an area that... Um, I'll just go here. Okay, I'm gonna save now. Uh... We'll start again shortly in the next episode. Alright, this is Red Eye from Yeah Yo Gaming signing off. I think that was all wrong. I needed to say Yeah Yo with a little more emphasis. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, uh, support this channel uh, any way you want. Um, for those of you that are, we appreciate your time that you've uh, spent with us. Looking forward to doing more of these videos uh, in the next few days or weeks, however long it takes. We're going to get this walkthrough done very soon. But until then, keep uh, tuning in and we're going to be, Crazy Hobo and I will be doing more games uh, eventually. I don't know what those games will be yet, but we've got quite a variety to go through may even be on a different system. So, just have to wait and see. Alright, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.